So in this uh, presentation, we're just going to look at how the propeller produces thrust. So we're going to begin by reviewing some basic aerodynamics. And you know, if we have an aircraft flying along, the wing, uh, just zoomed in on the wing here, the wing has air flowing over the top of it at a higher speed than the airflow flowing underneath it. So <clears throat> this change in speed, so as the air speeds up over the top of the wing, that gives us a, a low pressure, and the air underneath the wing will, will have a high pressure. So that difference in pressure will give us a lift. Now the lift force is there to counteract the weight. So the lift vector then can be broken down into a, a vertical vector, which is equal and opposite to the weight, and the horizontal vector. And we call this drag. So with, with our wing, we produce lift and drag. But the wing is an airfoil shape. Now, if we extend that then to a propeller, so with a propeller, we still have the airfoil shape. The air will flow over the propeller, and we'll still get a high pressure on this side of the propeller, and a low pressure on that side. And just as we had lift with the wing, we get lift with the propeller. Again, that vector can be broken down into the horizontal and vertical component. And we're going to call this a uh, drag. All right, so it's exactly the same as a wing. So we have an aerofoil shift that produces lift and some drag. However, we don't call it lift and drag. So for a propeller, we call it thrust and torque. And normally the thrust and torque will be shown like that. So we have the thrust here and the torque at this position. Um, just like the wing, the propeller will have a cord line going from the trailing edge to the leading edge or the leading edge to the trailing edge. And on an aircraft, we have what we would call an angle of incidence, which is the uh, angle between the cord line and the longitudinal axis of the aircraft. But for the propeller, we're going to have this angle here called beta. And that is the propeller blade angle. So on an aircraft, the angle of incidence is the cord line and the longitudinal axis of the aircraft. For a propeller, the blade angle is the angle between the cord line and the plane, and the plane of rotation. I'll say that again. The blade angle is the angle between the cord line and the plane of rotation. 